Hola, my soccer universe, and welcome to this year's La Liga jersey review. Today is part one that we'll be looking at, and yeah, I'll let you in a secret. I'm trying to shoot these all at once, but then I stagger them uh, to deliver them to the weekend. This is the last big league bef uh, before I want to do a Champions League jersey review and then Europa League, which is a much bigger undertaking, I have to say. Um, but I plan it and then I'm thinking whether I should do some of the smaller leagues that I'm also covering like the Eredivisie, Liga Nosch and of course the Austrian Bundesliga, which would probably be the easiest one for me being from Austria. But Spain. Uh, as you see, I pulled out all kinds of Spanish jerseys for me. I have to say it's really hard for me here to get um, La Liga jerseys that are outside of the big two. And yeah, even Atletico Madrid uh, for a reasonable price is not that easy to get and uh, I had to pay at classic football shirts almost full price to get this particular Valencia jersey. I know a Valencia jersey probably is the next easiest thing to come by but I would like to have um, a lot many more teams that I don't have to rely that much on national team jerseys. So I have five um, the top four from last season Sevilla right here I have Valencia because it was the top four, I always try to get to get at least the top four teams. And then I fill it up with Spanish jerseys. So we have here the 2008, 2010 and 2012. The winning jersey from each World Cup. Actually, this one is the one from my wife. Try to put that one in. And then here, all kinds of uh, secondary jerseys uh, in there as well. And another Spain jersey. For this video, um, I decided to wear Real Madrid because we will talk about the Real Madrid jerseys and this is probably one of the best jerseys that we had last season so I decided that instead of Valencia which will always be also be in the video which of course leads to a question how did I decide that exactly these five teams are now in part one of the jersey review so if you're seeing this for the first time if you have seen my jersey reviews uh, the, this season you already know I basically take last year's standings and I don't want to go necessarily alphabetically because then if I make the five there's for sure Atletico Madrid and Barcelona in the same video and I actually want to uh, spread out the big teams a little bit more and have always um, kind of a little mixing of smaller teams and uh, better teams in there. So take the last season standings I split it into parts of chunks of four so uh, and out of each chunk i choose one and we how do i do it well i number one two three four four three two one as you can see in the graphic here on the side and then for this video part one i choose all the ones and then in order to make it not as predictable i kind of mix it sort of alphabetically uh meaning i take how i call the teams which will come in video three where I don't call Athletic Club Athletic Club, I call them Bilbao and then they will fall behind Atletico Madrid. Oh, so you see it's not the perfect um, alphabetic ordering and also if you saw my League 1 jer jer jersey review, or League 1 I should say, uh, it completely fell apart there <laughs> because <laughs> I, com I completely messed that one up. Anyway, let's get started with the video, uh, with the video, with the review. First team up is Alaves from the Basque Country, which I almost bought a jersey from Classic Football Shirts not too long, long ago. Then I decided, um, nah, I want to buy other jerseys. So in the when I opened the five, uh, I had initially eight jerseys in the order, but then I said I decided to stay reasonable. Alaves home jersey, Kelme. Your classic Alaves home jersey, I have to say, uh, blue and white stripes. Um, maybe the uh, striping here on the sleeves is a little bit adventurous. I like the color. I really love it since we see the whole kid of socks here with, <laughs> with hooped socks. That's just a look I really love. Uh, I wish the sponsor was not uh, black but blue to fit in a little bit better. But you know, with black it stands out. Also, Alaves has a new crest which. I actually really like the old old one. There was a, it, it's kind of the style that I'm use, using for some of my graphics uh, on the thumb thumbnails and also when you see my uh, when I do na na national team how I, how I do the flags, a little bit of scribble. I really like that one. Now it's kind of cir circular. Yes, there's still the flag in there, but it loses a little bit of the speci specialty value for me. I have to say, 
this is a pretty good looking jersey. I, I wish I would know the pack is probably a little bit blank, blank out as the as is real, but I think this is pretty strong. Uh, the, as I said, the striping on the sleeves, I like the form stripe with the Calumet Paw. I don't like this little thin stripe here, but I think it's a very solid eight star jersey. Uh, the away jersey is one that I have, have, haven't seen that way, but seemingly there was an Ajax inspired jersey because this is called the jersey from Ajax uh, there. And in order to add a little bit of Klopp's colors, we have a little bit blue in there. So it's kind of PSG kind of Ajax, uh, but very much uh, Alaves as well. Uh, I have to say, I don't dislike it. I actually really like, and uh, here the striping on the sleeve makes more sense because it really, um, mirrors what's happening on the torso of the jersey. It is highly unusual. It is highly unusual, but I actually really, really like what they're doing here. Um, I'm also going to give this eight star. I think it's a really good looking uh, out of the box jer jersey. What I don't like is that the sponsor blocks out. I think you can fit the sponsor in there uh, without having the box uh, break up the pattern. As you know, I really hate that. But yeah, I have to say this is a really nice looking uh, jersey jer jer that's just a little bit different than what we see normally. And then the third jersey goes the route of, yeah, we, ha we have seen this already a few times and we will see this again. Black with gold seems to be the trend of the season all over Europe and so Alaves has to jump on that trend as well. The nice thing is with black and gold it actually always looks kind of nice and you cannot really go wrong with it. The problem is I think that gold is a color that needs to be used sparingly. Real Madrid is one of the few, few clubs that can probably use it all the time because they are just such a stellar club. Uh, otherwise you, you either celebrate a centenary or you know have a big birthday or you have won something big like a European trophy or a championship for the first time in, in, in a few years. So that's why I'm a little bit going down here but I think also it is not a bad looking kit. It will serve its purpose because I have the feeling that with the other two keeps having a lot of white we will actually see uh, this black jersey quite some. I'm thinking for instance against Real Madrid they will for sure turn up with the black jersey and for that reason I think it makes sense. I also give this eight stars. I think Al Alaves starts out with a really, really, with a really good start here uh, for the La Liga jersey review. Next up is a team that I have a very soft spot for and I'm always a little bit disappointed how bad they're doing with Celta de Vigo. Um, I always liked Celta de Vigo for some, for, for some reason. I, I, I remember in the late 2000s, most, most of the way they played exciting so soccer. Now they also have a pretty good squad, but I don't know for what reason, for what, whatever reason they're not doing it. We get my favorite Adidas template, which we will see a few more times uh, here. Uh, but I have to say it works for Celta somehow. But if you see it, you can really see how this uh, shoulder yoke is grafted on there. Uh, with a little bit more shiny material than, uh, than it needs to be. And it actually makes the jersey look um, looser than you're used to at the moment. I mean, uh, it looks old which doesn't need to be a bad thing, but I think it is the contrast is a little bit jarring with uh, the other uh, with, with the other jerseys that are currently being used. So for that reason, I'm not uh, very happy with uh, that choice. But I think Celta, uh, similar to Leicester, is one of the teams that makes something nice out of because they don't have any pattern in there. You have the light blue, you have a little bit black um, striping here. Then I actually like the sleeve cuffs, although they are kind of thick, I think you could have done half, half the width of that. But then also have the accent colors, or maybe it's a navy. I think it's a navy, no, the black. Uh, in there, and I have, I have it also, although the sponsor is kind of a little bit ugly on there, uh, it doesn't distract from the jersey. It, it kind of fits color-wise in there, there as well. And, you know, it's also Galicia. It fits also with the theme. It's a local sponsor, so I don't want to get down too much on them. Um, is it an exciting jersey? Maybe not, but I have to say from all the ones, this is this, this one that I always uh, liked and yeah, I'm not... No, I'm also gonna give this eight stars. Yes, I'm, I'm not stuck on, on, on that. I was thinking maybe same, but I think two, 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 two I like it enough for eight stars. Uh, I like this one even better, I have to have, have to say. This is a, uh, it seems like Lyon has such an away jer uh, jersey, but with a red gradient come, coming up. Um, makes total sense for me. Uh, the white 
uh, it adds a little bit of an egg X and then and then you have the gradient uh, also the sponsor fits really nice in there um, and dark blue I mean you can I like dark blue jerseys <laughs> so uh, you're not gonna get I actually I'm, I'm gonna go on high I'm gonna go nine because I really really like this one although I have to say if I want to get a Celta jersey I would like to get a light blue one Getafe is coming up next and yeah Homa we see now you know, we are, we're having egg, 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 actually quite a few sub four suppliers in this video, only uh, Adidas will show up twice. Uh, this is a very interesting call, I have to say, very deep cut, but other than it's uh, typically what you would expect, Getafe blue. And not, uh, and egg, egg actually is less exciting than the last few were there, who had this tiger um, paw scratch or whatever on there. We have it now, this is just plain blue with a little bit of black uh, going as an accent. Uh, you cannot go wrong. I'm just seeing if the sides here. I don't think this is a gradient. I, th I think it's just the lighting here that, that, that make, may, makes it look a little bit uh, weirder than maybe it should be. Um, yeah, guitar features are really e e exciting, but also, you know, you if you put out that, it's just what you would expect. And so I kind of fall, fall for that one. And that's why I'm going right down the middle with uh, six stars. And yes, I'm booked that I said, I, you know, it should be five and a half, should be the middle. I think thanks to the color and, and so on, it gives a little bit more, so I'm going to go over. I was thinking that I should give zero stars or, you know, adjust my rating, but I've been using a one to 10 for so many years. I probably have to stick with that. It's not uh, super perfect, but yeah. And if anyone out there, and yeah, I'm going on a rant here, and, and anyone out there thinks I should only do five stars, oh, oh whatever, it's just too limiting for me. I want to uh you know have a little bit of uh more uh gradient in there and i don't want to go decimal grades or hundreds and whatever because then it becomes a little bit too much for me so one to ten it is and it will remain so for a near future although i'm thinking of adding the zero maybe uh the away jersey does the same thing in red um with you know the color is one-sided i think it's also on the uh, home jersey was one-sided but i it is interesting. I'm not necessarily liking uh, asymmetric jerseys, but here I think I can li live with it. I mean, the red, is it? Yes, it will give contrast, but you know, um, for me, the proper, the absolute proper away jersey should, should be a lighter color, and then the red has a third color. So as a away jersey, I'm not sure how much I'm liking it. Um, that's at, at, at least what Foot Headlands had as, as the away jersey. So yeah, for that, maybe five stars, but uh, it's not a bad jersey per se. And then we get actually the um, uh, third jersey is white. And I think we will see that one a lot more often. It looks a whole lot like an Atalanta jersey in many ways, because it, you have the blue and black here. So it's a color, color, color is blue, and there's a little bit of black come, 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 come in, in, in addition. And I think Atalanta um, does something similar, but a much wilder pattern. My big gripe with this jersey, uh, if it just was that, great. But then the sponsor in green. Yes, there's green in the Getafe crest. So uh, maybe, but it just looks jarring to me. There are too many colors. I think it, uh, this one would look better just in blue. Or if you want to get the green in there, then get some green up uh, up in the collar or, you know, in your club jer club's jer jersey. So for the red dead, that reason I'm going to go four stars here. We're at the big one, Real Madrid. And um, after last season's hard back, I think to the 11, 12th season with the gold accents, we are now harking a little bit back to the 14, 15 season. We have pink, or as they call it, spring pink. This is the same template as the Celta Vigo jersey, uh, Adidas. But I think for Real Madrid, for once, you know, everything is white. You don't really see it. But I have to say, in match, it looks a little teeny bit weird. Uh, but, you know, I knew that Adidas is going to put one of their ma uh, major temp templates on one of their biggest teams. I don't even mind even the use of pink, although I don't find it really just just like this little tag here uh, with the kind of weird pattern that they use on, on the third jersey, as we'll see. I'm not crazy about as well. Uh, initial leaks had this even on the sleeve cuffs, but here the sleeve cuffs are plain. So it's a rather a plain looking Real Madrid jersey, what you will, will expect with some pink accents, which are a little bit unnecessary. I have to say, as far as Real Madrid jerseys go, and I... 
I also realize I have a predisposition of liking white jer jerseys. This is more on the boringish side, to be honest. And now I am really, you know, like with, with Getafe, I went over for the home home jerseys. I hear I'm actually thinking going a little bit under because um, it leaves it leaves me a little, a little bit wanting. It does not go all this way with all the shiny, but there's something not quite right with it. Uh, it's not Madrid enough, if you want to say, and for that I give this five stars. Uh, the away jerseys, Spring Pink, we saw this already at Man when they played in the Champions League against Man City. Uh, I have to say, this takes the life out of any Madrid. I mean, the previous one that they had, the pink jersey when the Ronaldo was also playing, that was such a bright pink, and then with the white, it actually looked something that I would actually, I actually consider having. It looked not bad. At, at all, it's unusual, yes. But here, the pink is kind of this a little bit mud uh, uh, tone. Then the crest in dark, it sucks a little bit the life out of, out, out of it for me. It's not a great jersey, I, I'm afraid to say. Uh, a little bit lifeless, not uh, just pulling a color on it, also not very Madrid in many ways. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this only four stars. I really don't like that one all that much. The third jersey I would like a whole lot more. I mean, we keep with the black uh, theme. And note, we have uh, pink uh, away and the black third, which is also what Bar Bar Barcelona will, will be using. Uh, I think the black is all right, but then they did it here with, with the gold. Now the crest here is in pink. Yes, it fits, but uh, what have I told you before? The crest should fit with the, uh, the, the jersey should fit with the crest and not the crest fit with the jersey. And this is just making it fit way too much uh, in, in there. And then this floral pattern, you know, for me, Madrid is all about elegance, playing, f you know, the historical image, uh, kind of strong, uh, ir 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 irresistible and whatever, and then you put a floral pad on it, which kind of softens everything. I have to say, I'm really underwhelmed. This was a strong looking jersey. This black one is not, is not. And yeah, it's not bad, but I also gonna give this only five stars. I'm not gonna do the human race kit because I really wanna put this as a such, 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 such a special kit. They have to be discussed in a separate context if I ever get to there. So uh, those are the three Madrid jerseys we'll be talking about. We finished the whole thing in Valencia, who have uh, for a second season now Puma, and I know there should be some, um, you know, this again crafted by cult culture. There is some pattern on there that I can really not make out here on this pic picture, but I think it has it in the in the city hall with the Gothic ceiling, which I, I've seen it, and I think it actually looks quite nice, but it's really hard to perceive. But regardless whether there's a pattern on, on the net, well, however subtle, I have to say this jersey looks very much like what I would expect from a Valencia jersey. I really like that one. White, little bit of black trim, perfect. And full color, color crest on there. Uh, this is pretty nice, I have, to, I have to say. Yes, it's not all that exciting, but this is Valencia. This is how Valencia home jersey shows would look like. Nine, nine stars, uh, don't add me. Uh, the away jersey, a lot more adventurous. We have uh, or orange, we have a Puma template with this cubed uh, thing in there. The crest, I know if it was full color, it would look maybe a little bit jarring, but here it just doesn't look right. Uh, you should have the Valencia colors kind of on there. And then navy, yeah, I get it. I actually would like a lighter blue tone here as well. So yeah, it's not bad. It's better what they had last, last season. Remember how I hated hate it on those kits. But it's not uh, perfect either. Um, I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm gonna go five stars here. Uh, the crest uh, bur burks me and uh, also kind of this pattern. It gets a little bit too much in my head, but it's not a bad jersey. I think I, or, or, orange is a proper alternate. And then the third jersey, I know this is some paint, uh, the, the colors of some painter in there. A What contrast does, what reason would you have? I mean, I know they played with this at Villarreal, but the home jersey would have done that. This provides no contrast to the home jersey. It does not add something special, honestly. Uh, it rather looks blind. The colors don't don't get me started. This is, uh, yeah, it looks like fog to me. 
it looks fog and then again the crest also taking taking the life love it there is the only sparkle that comes from the la liga patch and that's not a good thing to say uh, i don't like this one <laughs> this is a three-star jersey so yeah part one is in the books i lot i had lots to say please let, let me know what you thought about this jersey which which ones you like and which ones you dislike give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these we have three more parts coming and i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!